neither here nor there. What will get all of them captured is social media. And they can't stop communicating with each other. If y'all already discussed what to do after the fact and this, that, and the fourth, ain't no need to talk to each other. But they don't know those things. Because that boy had a lot to learn. A lot of experience to take in. And lessons to gauge from those, from those experiences. He didn't have a chance to do that, so... What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with a update. Today's update will be about the Bay Northeast shooting that happened roughly a month ago where a 15 year old boy was shot and killed. On Friday, November the 4th, the MPD held a press conference announcing that a suspect has been arrested in the murder of the 15-year-old boy. He himself, the suspect, is 15 years old also. This 15-year-old boy has been charged with first-degree murder while armed. The shooting took place on October the 13th around 3.30. Now, as I told y'all in a previous video, my point of view and perspective on it is a parent coming to pick their child up from school. There was a certain drop-off location. The buses pulled up around 3.30 sharp. And shortly after, the kids were unloading off of the bus, gunshots rang out. And these gunshots rang out so close the kids were on one side of the street and the shooting happened on the other side of the street. Parents, children, and teachers all running in a panic. Shortly after the shooting, police did arrive and they airlifted the 15-year-old boy to a hospital suitable for the severity of his injuries. In this shooting, there was another victim who got shot and was able to transport himself to the hospital and it is said that he will make a full recovery. 15 year old Andre Robertson Jr. wasn't so lucky. He succumbed to his injuries shortly after arriving to the hospital. To make matters worse in this whole scenario and for this young boy's family, he is not the only victim of gun violence in their family. The 15-year-old's father was actually killed one year ago, less than a block away from that very same location. So not only did a grandmother lose her grandson, a mother also lost her son. If there is any GoFundMe or any link that can be shared, please let me know and I will share it to the masses to help this family in any way that we can. One of quite a few suspects has been arrested, only one, and they are on the hunt for the other few people that need to be arrested and charged with this. And to me, it's only a matter of time. And I say that because they're young. So you got to factor in, you know, the likelihood of a young person snitching to save themselves. Young people nowadays, they don't have the kind of morals and ability to like stay down with a clique. And, you know, to each his own. Certain people have certain feelings about saving themselves and rationalizations and certain people have rationalizations of doing a time that they are sentenced by the judge and not trying to implicate nobody else and this that and the fourth so neither here nor there what will get all of them captured is social media these young punks cannot stay off of social media and they can't stop communicating with each other. Like, back in the day, it wasn't so much technology, but even so. 
if y'all already discussed what to do after the fact and this, that, and the fourth, ain't no need to talk to each other, but they don't know those things. You feel me? They don't know shit about talking in code. They don't know nothing about the law. So, all of them need to be charged. And I don't mind, in certain situations, juveniles being charged as adults. Because no parent should have to check their child for gunshot wounds after a situation like that. I was checking children that wasn't even mine. Because I don't play that. I don't play that type of sh around kids. And these are the type of morals that the young juveniles don't have. And I always bring it back to the parents because what did you teach them? What did you really teach them if they don't know sh about, you know, no women, no children? Just think. They don't have no thought process. They just going to do it. And that's exactly how that transpired. Didn't have to happen, but when it's people that don't give a f about anything but themselves and making a point, stuff like that is going to continue to happen. So, as a result of, you know, that happening so close to the drop-off, they changed the drop-off location. It was a huge teaching moment for what what bad people look like like i could have showed her anything on a movie or this that and the fourth they see it on a movie and think it's all cool and it's effects and this it's not like that i wouldn't want anything like this to happen again i'm not saying i'm happy that it happened and and i'm happy that this 15 year old kid got killed my big brother was the same age I sympathize with that because that boy had a lot to learn, a lot to learn, a lot of experience to take in and lessons to gauge from those experiences. He didn't have a chance to do that. So with those young kids that's out toting guns and think that that makes you feel so powerful to act as the grim reaper you gonna have your day just like every single one of them that's out here carjacking and doing all this shit, glorifying it taking people's lives let's see how they can handle hefty sentences just like their fathers did just like their uncles did Mm-hmm.